All right, Shalom. First and foremost of all, praise and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Makak Wadash. The Bible the Apostles, the Great Millstone, are teaching us the Lord sent truth according to the Bible rule well. And peace and blessings still afflict to the nation of Israel. Today, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Oshai, we'll get to the Lord's will and the final lesson. You know, on, you know, center, center upon, you know, as we wait, you know, for our Lord Yahweh Shai to make a second return, you know, we should be stirring up treasures, you know, in heaven, right? We should stir up treasures, right? For, for this evil day that's coming, right? And have a different mindset than the rest of the world as they are laboring, you know, for this present evil world, right? We are laboring, you know, for the kingdom to come, right? And as we read Colossians 3, you see the, the, the heading, put on the new self, right? So we have to put on the righteousness of Yah by Shema Shai, which is, a, which is a, a renewed mind, right? No longer thinking like the man, uh, like, like the people of this world. This is a Colossians, right? Uh, chapter 3, uh, verse 1, it says, If ye then be risen with the Mashiach, right? So we've been uh, risen as we were dead, right? In transpat, uh, uh, Ephesians, right? 2 and 1, and you, and you have he quickened, right? So we, we've been risen, we've been quickened, we've been made alive who were dead in trespasses and sins. We were dead. You know, uh, you know, we were without life. We were out the breath of life, you know. But Yahweh Shai, he has made us, uh, he, he, he who is a quickening spirit has quickened us. You know, he, he, he has showed us the way of life, you know. And, and through him, we, we truly live. We truly know what it means to live down here upon the earth. Wherein in time past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit now that worketh in the children of disobedience, right? And that's two thirds of our people who are walking in the course of this world. They're under the vibration of Esau, Edom, the God of this world, right? While we are being quickened, right? They have the spirit of this world. We have the spirit of Yahweh Shai, right? So Colossians 3 and 1. It's like, yeah. Colossians 3 and 1. <clears throat> if ye then be risen with the Mashiach, seek, you know, which means to try to obtain, to search, Right? Seek those things which are above. Try to obtain those things which are above, right? Where a Mashiach sitteth on the right hand of the Most High, right? So we seek in those things which are above, which are higher, which are uh, far more important, right? Which is the knowledge of Yah by Shema Washai and the mindset and the character Right, and the discipline that it took Yahweh Shai to be able to receive glory, right? To sit at the right hand of the Most High, the Creator, right? The, the Heavenly Father Yahweh. You know, what it took Yahweh Shai to be able to sit at His right hand. We're supposed to be seeking those things, a, a greater glory. Set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth so our affections right let's get the definition for affection affection or fondness is a disposition or state of mind or body that is often associated with the feeling or type of love right fondness it says affection is popularly used to uh, denote a feeling or type of love Right, so the things that we love should be the things that Yahweh Shai is teaching us. Right, it says a gentle feeling of fondness, um, the act or process 
All right. So set our affection, set our love, right? Set our care, our devotion, right? What we care about, our caring, right? Regard, what we show respect to, right? It says set your affection, set your love, right? The things that you, um, you know, have love for, right? On things above, not on things on the earth, you know, whether whatever that is, you know, for you and your walk, you know, you have to be able to make uh, sacrifices, you know, for, you know, the victory for ye are dead to this world. Right. So we're dead to this world as we have put off the old man. You know, we no longer have stock here in this world. You see, it says for ye are dead. And your life is hid with a Mashiach. So our life is hid with Yahweh Shai, right? As we are dwelling in the secret place of the Most High, right? This this wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the scriptures, and the rest of the world cannot see, you know, the importance the importance of what we're working towards, right? As we are working towards to be uh, ru rulers, joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. Well, yeah, how wish I? <clears throat> Slack, yeah. It says, when a Mashiach, who is our life, right, the purpose of why we're living, as he has, as he has given us his renewed, you know, uh, purpose, as he has given us a, a, a real purpose to live, when the Mashiach, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye appear also with him in glory, right? Then also... We shall appear with him in glory. Yahweh Shema Shai is going to show us. The Heavenly Father is going to show us favor, right? Because we believed on his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, as he commanded us to do. Uh, did he not? Uh, you know, uh, this is my beloved son. Uh, hear ye him, right? So let's go to Matthews. I'm going to... Um, this is a uh, Matthew chapter three, uh, verse eight. It says, "Bring fruit, bring forth therefore fruit, meat for repentance." Right. So Yahweh Shai, you know, wants fruit. You know, well, we are those fruit, right? Meat. You know, uh, meat for, for repentance, meaning, uh, you know, worthy of repentance, you know, who have the, the mindset to really repent. Let's get this uh, word for meat, right? Weighing, having weight, have value, right? Worth as much, it says, um, of one, merit, merit. Someone, someone who's worthy, someone who's merit, someone showing merit. Uh, this is a really good definition, a good uh, excellence, right? The quality of being particular good or worthy, especially so as to desire, praise, or reward, right? So Yahweh Shema Shai is, is looking for someone who, uh, you know, is really, you know, who, who, who's, who's looking, look, Yahweh Shema Shai is looking for someone to fit that position of someone worthy of repentance, and that comes with a mindset, right? This is, um, I'm going to read it here in Matthews, right? But I really like Luke, uh, the 12th chapter, starting at the 34th verse, I believe it is. But we can um, actually start at 31, but rather, but rather, right? Seek ye the kingdom of the Most High, but rather than... You know, seeking this world and, you know, being all about this society and grinding, doing the daily grind so you can get your, uh, you know, your daily bread here, right? Your your uh, notes here, but rather seek ye the, the kingdom of the most high, right? The, the kingdom of the most high should be your priority, right? Seeking, a, you know, daily grind, working, seeking after a woman, you know, the, the cares and pleasures of this world, right? Those things, you know, are not in, as those things are not important. You know, what, what's important is seeking the kingdom of the most high. Now, do we do those things? Of course we do. You know, 
it says, but, but our investment, our time, our energy is not into those things. You know, our energy is on the kingdom of Yah by Shema Ashai. It's what we're constantly uh, meditating upon, right? You know, uh, you know, our, we're not constantly meditating upon a woman 24-7. That, that does not have our thoughts in our mind. We're not constantly meditating on the new promotion on the job, you know, working a certain hour so we can be recogni recognized by the boss or pleasing our children. We're not, that's not what's on our mind, but rather seek ye first, right? The kingdom of the most high, right? So we're, but rather seek ye the kingdom of the most high. We're supposed to make that our priority and all these things shall be added onto you. The things necessary for life are going to be added onto us. It says, fear not, little flock, right? And this is a small sanctuary. And we shouldn't have any doubt or fears, you know, as if Yahweh by Shema Shai isn't going to come through on this promise. For it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom, right? So the Heavenly Father, He wants to give, you know, He wants to set up a righteous kingdom down here upon the earth. And it's His good pleasure to set up those who are worthy, right? It says, sell that ye have, and give no alms. Provide yourself bags, which wax not old. A treasure in heaven that faileth not, where no thief approacheth, neither moth corrupts. Right? So, that's what we should be, you know, understanding. We should be laying up uh, treasures in heaven that faileth not. That's not going to fail us. As this society breaks down, you know, what people are putting their energy and time into aren't going to give them any uh, return. You see, it says for where your treasure is, right, what you deem as to have value, there will your heart be also, your mind will be there. So we have to, you know, understand that Yahweh Shai is our life. We have to understand that this truth is our life. You know, the brothers, that is our life. Doing the videos, that's, that's, that's your new life now. Watching the videos, that's your life now. Putting off th th this world, that, that, you know, and putting on Yahweh Shai, that is our life now. It says, let your loins be girt about, right, and your lights burning, right? Speaking of the loins of your mind, has to be girt, girded, uh, ready uh, to fight this spiritual war. You know, as we go out into the world, we should be uh, lights, you know, in this world, right? We should be shining as lights, you know, which our light is Yahweh Shai. To gird oneself with truth as a girdle, right? So we should we should be wearing this truth. It should be seen upon us, right? This truth should be seen upon us. The knowledge of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Others should see it, right? And we show that through our actions, right? So um, this is a uh, verse forty. Be therefore ready also, for the Son of Man cometh at an hour when you think not. So Yahweh by Shema Shai. He's about the Heavenly Father is about to send back Yahweh Shai. You know, let's get uh, one more scripture so we should uh, have our minds ready. We should we should know and understand this. This is a uh, Revelation sixteen, right? It says Armageddon, right? So let's jump down to verse uh, fifteen, right? It says, Behold, I come as a thief. Right, so Yahweh Shah is coming as a thief. He's not going to tell you when he's coming. He's giving you instructions on what you need to do, what type of mindset we should have, what we should be working towards and looking uh, for. Right, the reward of the kingdom. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth, highly favored. You know, you have a good report in the heavens. Right, for those that are watching, and keepeth his garment. Right, and those that keep. Their garment, they keep this truth constantly upon their mind, and they wear it. You know, the scripts talk about how the how the uh, the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh, right? You know what? What you think? You know, you you're gonna put action to, right? It says so. And and keepeth his garment, lest he walk naked, and they see his shame, right? He walk naked. He walk without the covering of Yah by Shemal Shai. And when judgment comes, the world is going to see uh, your shame, right? And, and your foolishness, right? But you know what that, you know, lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. 
you know, as we see the day of Yahweh by Shema Hashai approaching, you know, um, Isaiah uh, 33 and 6, we'll close out on that. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, right? This wisdom and knowledge, you know, we're going to be able to uh, uh, use it, you know, in the times that we're coming into. It's going to be our stability. It's what we're going to lean upon, right? It's what's going to keep us stable-minded and strength of salvation. This knowledge is the power of our salvation, right? It's the strength, you know? Um, it says, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. The fear of Yahweh by Shemel Hashai is the treasure, you know, to those that believe. You know, that being obedient is, is our treasure. Obedience is what we're lying up, is storing up for the day of, you know, wrath and destruction that Yahweh by Shemel Hashai is coming to bring in these last days. You know, with that, Lord is willing to edify. I'm going to say Shalom.